This third lesson on integration by partial fractions is about non-repeating quadratic factors. Here's the example. The integrand can be expressed as a sum of two simpler fractions. The rule is to put a linear factor on top of each quadratic factor. So on top of the x squared plus 1, we'll put ax plus b. On top of the x squared plus 3, we'll use cx plus d. Same as before, the next step is to clear the fractions. We'll multiply both sides of the equation by x squared plus 1 times x squared plus 3. On the left side, the whole denominator cancels out. We get x cubed plus 3x squared plus x plus 9. Move on to the right side. First term, see the x squared plus 1's cancel out. We're left with ax plus b times x squared plus 3. In the second term, the x squared plus 3's cancel out, and we have cx plus d times x squared plus 1. We'll multiply the terms out now. Notice how I stack the two lines to make it easier to group terms. So after grouping the like terms, we get this equation. Equating the coefficients, we get a plus c is 1, b plus d is 3, 3a plus c is 1, and the constant term 3b plus d equals 9. Stop and think about how best to proceed. Notice equations 1 and 3 only contain a and c. Using those two, we'll find a and c. We'll take equation 3 minus equation 1. 2a equals 0, a equals 0, c equals 1. Equations 4 and 2 contain only two variables, b and d, so we could use those to solve for b and d. Equation 4 minus equation 2 implies 2b equals 6, b equals 3. Now we find d equals to 0. Now we'll substitute those results into the partial fractions. The original fraction equals to 3 over x squared plus 1 plus x over x squared plus 3. The given integral can now be expressed as a sum of two simpler integrals. The first one, pull out the 3, and the integral of dx over x squared plus 1 is octangent of x. The second integral is a u sub of the form integral of du over u, and that returns the natural log. So here's the answer. QED